The world we've seen is divided, startlingly so, between some very rich countries and some very, very poor countries. A billion people roughly live in the high-income world. Another billion roughly live in the poor countries, the low-income world. And then another five billion, five-sevenths of humanity, are in between in the middle-income countries. How did this vast uh, difference uh, unfold? Uh, how is it that we have countries like the United States, or some even richer, at $50,000 per person per year of income or higher, and some countries like Mali or Malawi or Niger uh, at under $500? dollars per person per year, less than one hundredth uh, the income levels of the high income countries. We certainly didn't start this way a couple of centuries ago. Uh, if you look back to the period just before the great takeoff of modern economic growth, just before what we call the Industrial Revolution, the world was fairly equal, equal in poverty. Just about every part of the world was rural. Just about every part of the world uh, had uh, its population and its uh, workforce engaged in trying to stay alive as peasant farmers, smallholder farmers eking out a survival. Uh, when it was a bad season, bad rains, heat wave, drought, people not only suffered, they died. And that kind of extreme poverty was pervasive. It was everywhere in the world. Uh, it was in Europe as well as in Africa. Uh, the world was in a condition of not complete, but nearly complete equality, uh, but equality of poverty.